Forest of Unity. On a starry night in the heart of the ancient forest, an icy wind whispered through the towering trees, their leaves rustling like the eerie murmur of ghostly voices. The moon cast a pale glow on the forest floor, revealing the silhouettes of gnarled branches and twisted roots that spread out like skeletal fingers. In this mysterious realm, a group of animals gathered in a small clearing. There was Badger, the wise owl with feathers as gray as the mist that often enveloped the forest, Fox, a sleek black fox with eyes that gleamed like polished onyx, and Hare, a shy rabbit with fur as white as the snow that covered the forest in winter. The animals gathered to share stories and seek comfort in each other's company, for they had heard unsettling rumors about a malevolent force lurking in the shadows of the forest. Rumors about a creature so dark that even the bravest animals dared not speak its name. As Badger told a tale of an ancient curse that had plagued the forest centuries ago, the atmosphere grew tense. The animals' ears perked up, and their eyes widened with a mix of fear and curiosity. The legend spoke of a long-forgotten wizard banished to the heart of the forest for practicing dark magic. In his final moments, consumed by bitterness and anger, the wizard had cursed the land that now served as a refuge for the animals. The curse was to awaken every hundred years, summoning a malevolent being bent on tormenting and devouring any creature unfortunate enough to cross its path. The animals trembled, exchanging nervous glances as Badger's words hung heavily in the air. Hare's ears drooped, and Fox's fur bristled with unease. Just as Badger reached the climax of the story, a sudden silence fell over the clearing. The wind ceased its mournful howling, and the moon disappeared behind a blanket of ominous clouds. The animals felt an eerie stillness, a premonition of an invisible presence that sent shivers down their spines. A guttural growl echoed through the darkness, freezing the blood in their veins. The once serene clearing transformed into a realm of tangible fear as the creature, born from the ancient curse, emerged from the shadows. It was a monstrous figure, shrouded in tattered, ethereal robes that seemed to absorb the moonlight itself. Glowing eyes peered out from the hood, radiating with a supernatural malevolence that struck terror into the hearts of the gathered animals. The creature spoke with a voice that seemed to resonate with the depths of the forest, sending shivers through the animals. You enter a realm cursed by the wrongdoing of your ancestors. Now you will bear the consequences. With a wave of its spectral hand, the creature conjured a swirling vortex of shadows that enveloped the clearing. The animals huddled together, their hearts pounding with fear as darkness closed in around them. A cacophony of whispers echoed through the emptiness, each voice a tortured soul ensnared by the curse. As the shadows tightened, Badger, with a spark of ancient wisdom, recognized the need for action. We must not succumb to the fear that binds this curse. Together, we must find the strength to break free from its grip. Bramble, shaking off his initial paralysis, nodded in agreement. Luna, though trembling, drew courage from her companions. The three animals looked at each other and silently vowed to confront the malevolent force threatening them. With a collective surge, the animals pushed against the encroaching shadows. Badger's wings fluttered with an ethereal light, Bramble's eyes glowed with an inner fire, and Luna's timid gaze transformed into steadfast courage. Their united efforts began to loosen the grip of the curse, pushing back the suffocating darkness. The creature roared in frustration, its form flickering as the ancient magic wavered under the assault of the united animals. Amidst the struggle, Badger's ancient wisdom struck upon an idea. We must find the source of the curse, the heart that sustains this malevolence. Only by confronting it can we hope to free ourselves. Guided by Badger's wisdom, the three ventured deeper into the shadowy depths of the forest. The trees seemed to close in around them, whispering ominous secrets that intensified the oppressive atmosphere. Yet, fueled by their newfound courage, the animals pressed on. The deeper they penetrated into the heart of the cursed realm, the thicker the air became with unnatural energy. The ground beneath their paws felt animated by unseen forces, leading them to the epicenter of the malevolence. Sensing their approach, the creature materialized waves of dark apparitions to thwart their progress. Bramble leapt and dodged, his lithe form weaving through the shadows. Badger's wings beat with a protective aura, shielding Luna from the ethereal claws reaching out to seize her. The forest itself seemed to resist their intrusion, but the trio pressed forward. Finally, in a clearing bathed in a ghostly glow, the source of the curse revealed itself. A twisted tree, its gnarled roots reaching deep into the corrupted soil, stood as the vessel for the malevolence that had gripped the forest. A pulsating heart, entwined with spectral vines, beat in the rhythm of ancient hatred. The creature, sensing their approach, materialized before the animals with vengeful wrath. 
You dare challenge the essence of the curse? Foolish creatures, you will be consumed by the darkness. Unfazed, Badger, Bramble, and Luna faced the creature with unwavering determination. Badger's eyes glowed with ancient wisdom, Bramble's fur shimmered with the essence of the forest, and Luna's heart pulsed with the purity of innocence. In unison, they directed their collective energy toward the accursed tree. The heart trembled, its spectral vines recoiling before the onslaught of the animal's combined forces. The creature, weakened by the waning magic, emitted a thunderous roar that reverberated through the eerie clearing. With increasing intensity, the trio's efforts began to unravel the curse. The malevolent power, stripped of its might, dissipated like morning mist under the first rays of the sun. The tormenting whispers faded, and the shadows receded, allowing the forest to bask once again in the gentle glow of the moon. The animals, exhausted but triumphant, witnessed the transformation of the cursed tree. Its twisted branches straightened, and the spectral vines disintegrated. Instead of darkness, life began to bloom in all its splendor. Flowers of myriad colors unfurled, and the air was filled with the sweet scent of newfound freedom. The creature, now reduced to an ethereal essence, lingered for a moment before dissipating into the night. Its malevolent presence vanished, leaving behind a transformed forest and the animals who dared to confront the ancient curse. Badger, Bramble, and Luna stood in the clearing, gazing at the renewed landscape. The once fear-filled clearing now teemed with life, a testament to the resilience of nature and the power of unity against the forces of darkness. As dawn painted the horizon with hues of pink and gold, the animals felt a sense of peace settling over the forest. The ancient curse, broken by their courage and determination, became a fading memory in the annals of the forest dwellers. With a newly forged camaraderie forged in the fire of adversity, Badger, Bramble, and Luna returned to their clearing. The stories they shared now carried a different weight, a testament to the night they faced the malevolent force and emerged victorious. And so, in the heart of the ancient forest, the animals celebrated the triumph of light over darkness, their unity echoing through the whispering leaves as a reminder that even in the face of the most formidable curses, courage and unity could prevail.